For this week's assignment, I'd like to look at how to analyze a circuit in PartSim, starting with DC analysis. Let's start with DC analysis. Suppose we have this circuit where the input is 100 volts. First, we'll put the circuit into PartSim. To get to PartSim, type in partsim.com. It'll take you to this web page. If you sign up, you can save your circuits. Or, like me, just input your circuit each time. That brings up the following page. I'll want to input the circuit right here. So we'll have a DC voltage source, a bunch of resistors, and capacitors. So on part sim, I'll go to generic part source. This is your DC source. It'll be 100 volts. I'll change that in a sec. I have a bunch of resistors. So there's my resistor right click and I'm going to rotate rotate I need three of those so copy paste control C B B so there's my three resistors Oops. Let's spread these out on the board I now have resistors to ground three of those and three capacitors, just dragging and dropping. Plus I need a ground. Ground is a port, and it's right there. Once you get the components, just drag and click. Here I'll click on the ground, connect to one volt. One volt goes over here. These resistors get connected. And this goes to ground. I've got to get the lighting to turn green, and you see a little dot if you have the connection. Once everyone's connected, you can then change the values. If I double click on voltage source, this was 100 volts. Uh, that was 10, 20, 30 ohms. This is 10 ohms. 20 ohms. And 30 ohms. The resistors are 150, 250, 350. And here I'm going to input a mistake, just so on the homework you have to do something different. That's 150, and that should be 250. I'm doing that wrong, so your answers will actually be different than the ones right here. And the capacitors are 0 0.001, 0 0.002, 0 0.003. Uh, part sim would prefer, if I call that 1 millifarad, 2 millifarads, and 3 millifarads. Now to do the DC analysis, I just do run, DC bias, run, and those are my voltages. Inputs 100 volts, this is 87 volts, 73, 67 volts. That's DC analysis. For AC analysis, I'll need to replace that voltage source with an AC source, and then reconnect everyone. My input is 100 cosine 4t. So let's take the input. I'm going to do a transient response. Here's the sine wave input. Offset is 0. Amplitude is 100 volts. Uh, it's 4 ratings per second. The frequency in hertz is 4 divided by 2 pi. 
I'll need my calculator for that. 4 divided by 2 pi is 0.6366 hertz. And remember, anything English isn't natural. And I think that's everyone. Okay, and there's my sine wave source. The period is 1.57 seconds. So I'm going to do a run. I'm going to do, in this case, a transient response. Let's take it for four cycles. Which would be 6.28 seconds, make it 7 seconds. Step size, 10 milliseconds. Next step size, 10 milliseconds. And run. And those are your voltages. So what this told you is here's your input. It was 100 volts peak. The first node is right here. Second node, third node. Notice the drop in the amplitude. That's the amplitude of your complex number. And there's a delay. The delay is the phase shift. If I do a click right here and highlight, I can zoom in. And there's easier to see the phase shift. So if I take the zero crossing, the first one is this much delay relative to one cycle. One cycle is 360 degrees, so that percentage is 360. There's the second node. Third node is delay. You can see both the amplitude and angle of a complex number on the transient simulation. That should be enough to get you through the homework.